Well, what's up everybody? You are tuned into Dope Files. I am your webisode host, Latasha, and today we are at the Junkyard. I am with designer Chanel of Junk Prints, and she's right over here. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Chanel? How you doing? I'm good. Look at you in like your jumpsuit. You're like ready to work no. and everything. <laughs> Working it out. Uh -huh. Show everybody the back, because I was actually looking at this jumpsuit. This girl goes in. Like, when she, when she's in a Junkyard. She's in, she's in her workspace. She's in her grind mode. She's ready to go in. Tell everybody, describe junk prints to everybody. What's the, the idea and the feeling behind that design? Um, junk prints pretty much is an ethical lifestyle solution. Clothing, artwork, general dopeness across the board. What are some of your inspirations when you get to designing junk prints? Like, what are you thinking of and trying to hone in on like your design? Um, I deal primarily with disconnect. Like, I deal with a lot of soft and hard uh, when people come together, when people separate, and so those are those are topics that uh, heavily get expressed. Whether it's like through lightheartedness or through heavy like racial topics or political. political <laughs> Why did you name your line Junk Prince? Well, it actually came from a college project that I did, and um, in my school, like art across the board generally is a very white field. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it just, it is what it is. And so, we're learning about all these people, learning about all these things that they're great and they have their merit, but there's no relation. It's a completely different or subcategory. It's a hyphenation as if it's not part of the whole experience. Mm -hmm. And so, I started making work that kind of combated that and it was like not high art. So I just started calling it like junk prints. Like I was like, well here, here's the junk, here, here's what it is. Like, Alright, we're making the outside cool. The outside. We're bringing the outside in. Exactly. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So let's do a walkthrough. Like show me like some of your stuff. Um, well over here we've got a lot of the the teas. Uh, let's pull them out so all of our viewers can see. So this was a new concept that I was working on, uh, making fun of just the uh, obsession with designer, like having a logo and like writing right. that stuff. And, um, label horse. Label horse, that whole, that whole <laughs> aspect of it. Which, if someone makes something good, that's great. Like, I don't really care where it comes from, but it just sucks when people are spending the last time, you know, to be like, this is, this is fancy. So. Pinky up. Yeah, exactly. Like, and it's just kind of like, <laughs> it's not fly. Like, it's not really fun to have right. to check it all through the city if you can't afford a cab with the nice shoes. This one has been extremely popular. Uh, the good hair t-shirts. Ah, get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty much um, pretty much being lighthearted with, uh, with black women's obsession with their hair. And, mm -hmm. and then just being comfortable and not comfortable. It seems to be like a team natural or team not, which seems really just crazy. Like we've got so many other things to concentrate on. Nappy <laughs> versus Yaki. <laughs> I see this funky little number here. I oh, love anything yeah. that glitters. Huh? I love anything that glitters. And so lately I've been working a lot with circles and um, circles as a pattern, circles as completion. You're actually rocking a jacket that, jacket that is a circle pattern. And so um, this year, I just, I really wanted to make something sparkly, something bright, something shiny. So these pieces up here, you um, design those too? Yes, I do. I do all the work. My background is graphics and photography, so that gets integrated heavily into the work. So I see we have like a lot of Twiggy, Grace Jones. What do these like models mean to you and Jump Print? Well, this particular series, and most of the work in this one, is um, called No Original, and it's based off of the fact that we take in art primarily through reproduction. Well, most people can recognize the Mona Lisa, but if you ask them what size it was, they can never tell you, or the texture, and it's always, um, it's even shocking for me a lot of times when I go to museums and see some of the great things, and I love how much I take in and it's defined by reproduction. And so I'm kind of uh, making a play on that with no original, there is no original. Okay, that makes sense. A whole bunch of stuff, write, write notes, take it. <laughs> we, we in class right now, this is an artist. This the artists we talking to right now. Like, these are race cars? Yeah, they're all these little um, toy cars, like like Hot Wheels and just all, all kinds of toy cars. And um, some of them are really high in value and some of them are worth absolutely nothing. And I 
wanted to make these cars look like I wanted to make them shiny and a lot of the work that I do with the accessories um, I play with used materials found stuff and then and these are some necklaces you have yes yes and most of the necklaces here are made from records recycled records that are laser cut and then assembled in house and um, yeah just getting rid of don't worry guys these aren't like the classics these are things that are <laughs> you don't want them. I know, I saw your record collection. I was like, I hope this isn't, this isn't Michael Jackson. No, I had I had a DJ like, oh, you can't cut the records up. And I'm like, believe it, you didn't want those. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it's like a Liberace record. Hey, 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 it's not Liberace record. Bad, 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 sorry. <laughs> you have like this little cassette here. Is this an actual it cassette is. too? It's one of these old, like back in the day, kids, we had to like get our messages on these little cassettes. <laughs> and you have to rewind when you want to listen to it again. And so I ended up um, getting a huge lot of those dead stock, like in a warehouse. And I was like, what is this going to make for me? That's how I'm showing a few years when I see some iPods hanging from earrings. Yeah, yeah, little minis and stuff. Like <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to do without those. And you have some bags over here too? Yeah, and the, the bags are made primarily from... Um, from materials from a closed down belt factory in Brooklyn and so got the got the materials gleaned it cleaned it up and um, came up with some concepts to, to make use of it so do you use like a lot of recycled pieces a lot of recycled things to like make new pieces That's primarily like, like I'd say most of the stuff is uh, most of it is dead stock or recycled things And you have actually a new piece that you wanted to show us. Yes, right? so yes, let's so go and see that. Alright. Okay. So, clearly you're an artist and art definitely inspires you. So this is your latest piece? Yes, this is my latest piece, uh, Slippery Slope. And I'm speaking uh, directly to the financial situation that the U.S. and the world is currently in. I find it to be very interesting because the U.S. is just built on like borrowed space, borrowed time, borrowed labor, borrowed everything, like we don't really have our industry, the whole place is just built on the back, so just things that weren't paid for properly, so I think that every few years we see that very blatantly, like we see it and you know, oh my god, the stocks crash, and then you talk to certain people and they're like, I've been broke. Like nothing's really changed for me. Uh, like, like this is uh, like, like okay. I still need my reparations. My forty acres in a mule. <laughs> right, like or or whatever that concept is. I feel like a lot of those things are intangible. Like you sit in class, you learn about it, and you're like, oh, that's stuff for those people. But I'm good. And then it happens to us, and we're just kind of like, yeah, exactly. Like you're like, what's the new deal got to do with me? And but I've been a recessionista forever. I've been broke. <laughs> Baby, I know how to turn a dime into exactly. a week's worth. Exactly. Like, frugality is a beautiful thing. Like, it's right. kind of like, that somehow we've like lost it and gotten so obsessed with like, I need the new new. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, well, what does that cost? What's that, you know, what's it looking like? Thank you so much for joining us on an episode of Dope Files. I really appreciate it. You guys get on JunkPrints.com. Follow Chanel. Follow me, Tosh underscore Dope Files. I think that's my name right now. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys later. Again, I'm Tasha. Thanks for watching. <laughs>